When it comes to daily driver laptops, the Microsoft Surface Laptop has been my absolute favorite. I've been using this seventh edition Surface Laptop for the last eight months, and I love everything about it. I also really like Windows Hello, it just starts up like a breeze. It's a premium laptop at a not so premium price. So you get great performance and amazing battery life. I mean, what's not to love about it? But there is only one small flaw, and that lies inside the core architecture of the CPU. When the new line of Surface laptops came out last June, they also premiered alongside new CPUs from Qualcomm, and that's their Snapdragon X series chips, and that's the X Plus and the X Elite chips. These run on ARM architecture, which is vastly different than traditional x86 CPUs. This change in architecture has historically meant that programs that worked on one architecture would not work on the new architecture, so you would need a whole new version of that program built to support the new architecture. This basically means you'd end up buying the same programs twice in some instances. Now, Apple solved this problem when they too moved to an ARM-type CPU architecture with their M series of CPUs, and that was many years back. And the solution is actually quite simple. They use a translation layer called Rosetta to help make the transition from x86-based architecture to their new Apple Silicon a breeze for their users, since a majority of their applications would work on either device. Qualcomm implemented a similar strategy with their Prism translation layer, which boasted a gigantic library of programs that work on their new CPUs without any issue. And frankly, they did in fact nail it. Using this Qualcomm-based Surface laptop for almost the whole year, a vast majority of my apps work perfectly fine with either native ARM versions or translated x86 versions, including a lot of my video editing software. The only hiccup I found was with very niche things, such as certain slicers for 3D printers that I just could not get to work. And it doesn't seem like there's much support in that regard for me since it's still a somewhat niche issue. Everything else? works perfectly fine. But if you're someone who only wants one laptop to do it all, and you have very specific programs that may have compatibility issues with new architecture, then you're in luck. Because over here, I have a Surface Laptop 7th Gen, and it's nearly identical to the one that I've been using, with one core difference. This utilizes an Intel CPU instead of a Qualcomm X Elite chip, and this has the Intel Core Ultra 7 268V processor. This means that you can get all of the benefits of this Surface laptop, but with the x86 architecture that's needed to run every application out there without the need for emulation. While we're not doing a direct comparison of the two, emulation can really be a make it or break it feature, depending on your use case, or if your org wants a business laptop that supports their suite of programs. Now, let's take a look at some of the specs of this Surface laptop. Obviously, the key difference is that it has an Intel Core Ultra 7 268V chip, and that has four performance cores and four low-powered efficiency cores, giving eight cores total. Now, this comes with the Intel Arc 140V integrated graphics that can handle some light, graphically intensive tasks, similar to the Qualcomm Adreno graphics found on the Snapdragon X chips. The included NPU is rated for 48 tops, or trillions of operations per second, and this is a metric that's used for measuring AI usage. Usage. The Surface Laptop that I have here has 32 gigabytes of LPDDR5X memory, a one terabyte SSD, also has Wi-Fi 7, Bluetooth 5.4, and a fantastic 15-inch Pixel Sense Flow touchscreen display. And I already love these Surface Laptops, so the change in CPUs to give better compatibility with certain apps is great. But the fact that I'm getting all of the specs and the build quality that I already love about these laptops is just the cherry on top. And just like this Qualcomm version, this Surface is a Copilot Plus PC. So you get all of the AI features that you expect of a Copilot PC, and that extra low power NPU to handle all of those AI experiences, such as live captions, co-creator, background removal and noise reduction on video calls. And both variants boast an amazing battery life, which has been my standout feature of this laptop because I set it and I forget it for long periods of time without charging, but it's ready to go whenever I need. So which version of the Microsoft Surface laptop would you go with? The Qualcomm or the Intel? Let us know in the comments below. And remember, you can get both at your local Micro Center. And if you don't have a Micro Center near you, then be sure to comment hashtag I want a Micro Center near me.